right now we have news from headline number one. And that headline came out Friday, Saturday-ish. But they're talking about it now because it makes a difference. Harris, Trump, deadlock in New York Times poll. A new poll has Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump in a dead heat with their upcoming election and popularity and ability to win. Essentially, it's like Harris 48, Trump 47 or something like that. Within a margin of error, that basically means they are tied. And it's what we're looking forward to. And we're also looking forward to their first probably only debate we'll have coming up next or in two days tomorrow tuesday and we'll see what happens in the hilarity that will ensue in this debate now they're sticking to the terms that biden had with trump earlier on they tried to change some things they tried to get an extra debate trump tried to throw out three dates like hey we're new to this here we're going to go in a parking lot in poughkeepsie no one really you know, went for that one, but they are going to keep the mics muted, such as Biden wanted, although Kamala Harris wanted to kind of hear Trump mumble in the background so she can kind of do the I'm speaking, Mr. President kind of moment. All they're doing is playing up that moment she had with Mike Pence so that hopefully they can get more run on that one. Of course, um, we all talked about how the last time Donald Trump debated a woman for president, he was really creepy and rude. And despite being creepy and rude and enough people hated that other person to vote for him anyway. And now we have what we have. We'll see what's going to happen, whether Kamala can gain some votes, gain some supporters, gain some love, or whether, as we're seeing right now, her sort of love momentum is cooling, and now they're basically in a dead heat. What will we see as we're less than 60 days to the actual election and figuring out who will be the next leader of the free world, minus any shenanigans like January 6th again?